Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's go through Olama. I have already mentioned before that I'm going to create many videos where you can uh, run the large language models locally, right? How the video will proceed is I will show you the diagram first here. First, I will explain you what is Olama and what are the different models that are in Olama already, how to install those models locally as well as running the Olama models. Uh, or let's say Olama locally and then customizing Olama. Let's say you want to have the uh, system prompt that you want to customize yourself, right? I will be covering all the different things. By the end of the video, you will have Olama installed locally and run models in your local computer. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first, this is the website and it says here, get up and running with large language models locally right and run llama 2 code llama and other models customize and create your own model what is olama in in a nutshell it is let's say a platform or it is a place where you can get and uh, get up and run large language models locally in the future videos i'm planning to create many videos related to olama how you can integrate this let's say with Langchain and also create some RAG applications probably uh, but let's see how it goes but first thing first that is what is Olama right the next thing is what are the different models that Olama has and this list of the models is updating as we speak the, the features from here you can choose which is the newest ones from here it will be the latest uh, newest one and the most popular as you can see Llama 2 is most popular and why this Olama is better is also because we know recently that Facebook Meta is working for Llama 3 also, right? When when that model appears and when Olama supports, we can easily download that model locally and run it locally. That's what we want, right? Many of you also ask that, okay, uh, how to run the models locally so that I don't need to provide the data to the third party providers or I don't even need to pay because when you run it locally then you don't need to pay anything right so yeah there are different models here and if you want to know something more about this model let's say for this example I, I will provide you the example of Mistral how to run this locally and if you go inside here you can see that this is the 7b model released by Mistral AI updated to version 0.2 there are already 152.2k pools meaning that you need to pull the model locally to run it right yeah you can just have the information here and it outperforms Llama 2 outperforms Llama 134b on many benchmarks and so on right so there are the different versions as you can see here what is the variance the CLI how to run this after installing Olama we can just run the command and that's it and you can just have the reference from the Mistral AI news release as well as this is the hogging face place if you want to go here you can just go ahead and see okay there is the Mistral AI Mistral 0.1 right so you can just go here and look all the different things and if you want to know what are the tags it's all mentioned here you can just go and download or run the specific uh, versions also but one thing before I I go and install this or let's say that before installing this I want to show you also in the github because there are some of the hardware requirements that you need to have if I scroll a little bit down as you can see there are the instructions how you can run this in Mac OS Linux and WSL2 docker and all different things but here is the model library and you need to be considering this because uh, it does not work on all the machines right here it says that okay if you want to run llama 2 7b parameters the size is 3.8 gb and this is how you can run and there are different things mentioned here but this is what you need to be careful about you should have at least 8 gb of ram available to run the 7 billion models 16 gb to run one, uh, 13 b models and 32 gb to run the 33 billion models right that's the reason i'm saying that because now i'm using this i will be running this in macbook m3 which has 36 gb of ram that means i can probably run the 33 billion models also but for you depending upon your ram size please choose the models that best fit your use case but i think as i'm going to go with the mistral model it is just 4.1 gb and it's a 7 billion for that if you scroll down you can have how many okay available to run this you you need to have at least 8 gb of ram I hope that is clear now because uh, before when I created the videos many of you were asking okay what is the hardware requirements why is it slow and something like that you need to be careful with these things right 
So yeah, now let's go to the main website and download this now. I haven't downloaded this in my local computer. To download, just click the download and here Windows, unfortunately, it's still coming soon, probably in the future. You can download for the Linux and for Mac OS also. So I'm going to download for Mac OS. Once this is clicked, it is here and let's see if it's downloads. It is now there. What I can do is just go here, Olama and it is expanding it's opening in a big tab here but let me bring this little bit so here i can just click this olama and it is going to be downloaded olama is an open app downloaded from the internet i will say open i'm just trying to show you is all the process so that you also know what to expect when you download the things right now it is downloading we have moved to applications i can move that and once that is done, now you need to download the terminal. I hope it will pop up here saying that to download the terminal uh, for Olama because Olama has its own commands, right? We need to also provide those things. Let me see if it provides something else here. It's still not. Okay. Okay. If I now do search for Olama, okay. Once I search the Olama, now it should ask me to install the command line let's see it's, it's still loading yeah okay now okay move to applications i have already done this but let's again do that and once that is done let's see it is not showing me to download or install the terminals but let's see if it works or not and now if i open the terminal let me just go here and run Olama. No, it is not uh, running because, or let me actually um, exit this and again run the terminal. So I will do item. I will make this little bit bigger and I will run Olama. It is not still there, but I don't know why it is not showing me. Okay, now let me run Olama again. Yeah, because these are some of the things that you, you might face. So that's the reason I'm showing you because I'm following the exact instructions and also based on other videos and the documentations they provide, right? So it says here, okay, Olama works best when you, when run from applications directly. Okay, I will say to move to applications and now I'll go to applications and here this Olama, I will run this. That's what I was actually running the Olama, but let's see. It is, is still running. Okay. What do I do if I do do not move? Okay. When I do do not move, then it says welcome to Olama. I don't know why, but let's get you up and running with your own large language models. I will do next. And now it says installing, meaning that we need to, because no, nobody shows the steps that we need to follow. Like right? each and every time you download something into your MacBook, you move that to the application. But for this case, it seems that if we move to the applications, it doesn't work. If I said no, then yeah, it says here. Now, as you can see, it says install the command line. I will say install. I need to provide the okay password for this. Let me provide the password. Once that is done, okay, now it's finished. I can just run this, right? I will do finish. And now if I go to the terminal and now if I run Olama, as you can see, it turns green, meaning that, okay, it's there. The first thing what we did was we did some travel troubleshooting. Unfortunately, that's what uh, we need to do. and. I'm just showing you all this so that if you also face some kind of errors, you know now what to do, right? So let me go here. Now we, we we said what is Olama, Olama models and installing the Olama. Now we need to install something, right? This is the commands that you can see here. Uses Olama and this is the command, solve, create, all the different things are here. What you can do here is now let's say that we want to download some model. And as I said you before also, I'm going to use the Mistral. For Mistral, what you can do is let me go here. I will go to the models. I will go to the Mistral. And what is the command I need to run? It is Olama run Mistral. So I will just copy this and go to the terminal. I will go here, control V and then enter. So now it is going to, as, as it says, you're pulling the manifest and then it is pulling the model because it is 4.1 GB as I showed you before and it will take some time 
to download this model once this model is downloaded I will get back to you okay now as you can see the model is downloaded and once the model is downloaded we we run this olama run mistral meaning that now it is asking us to uh, send a message i can just say here okay hi let me go to the terminal i can say hi and it will reply this okay hello how can i help you and all the different things right meaning that now we are interacting with uh, with the mistral and as you can see here it says send a message or we can even run this slash and question mark if i run this you can see that okay there are diff different commands available for us it says here set so buy and all the different things if, if you want to exit from here what you can do is just go and run buy and you are out from that right what are the other things that we can run let me say i want to run olama run and what are the helper things that i, that I want here as you can see run a model so olama run is used to run a model and you can see model and the prompt flags here you can see there is this verbose also if you want to have something it says here show timings for the response also how you can do that is we can just run olama run mistral right it will run here and what i can do is just go here and let me see what i can do i can just go here and say set verbose set verbose mode now if i say hello it will provide me the answer but then what it does now is as you can see here it provides additional information for us its total duration is this one total load duration is this and so on right yeah just to go out again you can just do buy and that's all what are the other different commands that we need to run as i said you before so if you just run olama it will show us all the different commands so here you can see there are uh, cp rm list we if you want to see all the models here i can just show, do olama list and now we downloaded the mistral it is just showing here mistral and the latest and what are the other things that you, if you want to do if you want to remove this then you can just do olama rem and it will be removed so yeah i think that is uh, that is the main commands that you need to run but apart from that let me see here what i have not there but let me again go to our main thing here we did the installing part we did the running part and now the customizing part right now again let me go to the terminal let's say that we want to customize the prompt right because when i ask the question before it just says okay hello and it says hello how can i assist you is there any specific right one thing what i can even say is here let's say i want to run olama run mistral right and i will say who are you and it was i am an artificial intelligence designed to assist with information but how can we let's say uh, have a different uh, system prompt for that right i will just do the buy and let me clear the screen and now what i'm going to do is let me see i can run veeam and i can say ml mistral i'm just giving something here i will do from mistral meaning that it will go and grab the mistral model and i will set some parameters let's say i want to i'm just copying here you can provide as many things as you want but what i'm planning to do is let's say i want to provide the parameter and the temperature is 0 0.7 and i want to have the system prompt i will just paste the system prompt from here Control c and Control v what i'm saying here is you are a machine learning engineer answer as engineer the assistant only give guidance about machine learning models if i provide this let's say if it follows that is specific prompt or not i will just uh, save this first and now i need to create a model right because we already have the model let me do olama list we have the mistral model already what it does is when i run this um, ml um, uh, mistral that is the new model i want to create it first goes and see if the mistral is downloaded locally or not if it finds that it builds on top of that right for that what i need to do is let me just copy the command from here Control c Control v i'm saying here olama create ml mistral dash f and i'm showing the path mistral or, or the path is not i need to provide ml mistral because that is what i am i'm creating here vim right so then i will just run this as you can see here what it does is okay unknown command you warning this this okay 
it does not understand these things what i need to do is i will go again to ml mistral this is how we just do things right here it does not understand uh, all the different things what i need to do is so this commands and here down i need to go here and these three things i will just go here escape colon w q and now if i run this same thing as you can see here it says transferring modal data reading modal metadata creating system layer creating config layer and all the different things now if i do olama list we still have mistral which was the beginning one and then now there is the ml mistral uh, which we just created you can customize the things now what i will do let me clear this screen i will just run the new model olama run ml mistral right this is the new model now we created it will be running and it says ask question i will say now who are you before i say who are you it just says the artificial intelligence things now if you go here it says okay i am an assistant designed to provide guidance and information related to machine learning models and related concept that's the system prompt that we provided now if i say what is apple it might not provide us the answer because it is not the thing it says here in the context of machine learning and apple refers to an instance or observation in a data set that belongs to the apple class okay you can see it just it just hallucinating and provide all the different things but it says here it is not related to the technology company apple inclusive because it just provides the answer related to machine learning kind of things i hope you get the idea what i'm trying to hear you can just modify the prompt as uh, whatever you want to do and the uh, and the um, and the answer it provides is quite fast also now let's say that i want to quit this okay bye now let's say that i want to have all the list right all list and it shows me two models and let me just uh, remove one of the model how can i do this you can just run olama and here is this rem remove of model right and it says here all the different things i can just run olama remove i want to maybe remove ml mistral i will run this and it says deleted and if i again run this olama list you can see now there is just the mistral model okay that's all for this video i think i covered all the things that i want to cover in this video in the future i am going to create more videos related to olamas as i said before also i hope you learned something thank you for watching and see you in the next video